Hello all, welcome to TechTapture. So this is our second demo on a deploying application on GK Autopilot Tester. So in our previous video, in first demo, we have enabled a GK API. We created Autopilot Tester. Then we deployed one public image on the GK cluster. We then exposed deployment with the load balancer as a service. And we accessed our application on the external IP. Now, in our second demo, we'll go to the created autopilot cluster because these two steps are already completed now so we'll create sim simple python web application so we'll create a docker file then we'll build our own docker image we'll test that docker image locally we'll create artifact registry we'll push our docker image to artifact registry and then deploy that image on the gk cluster so these are the steps we are going to follow on our demo so now let's go to a gk cluster which we created and let's see what we have on our autopilot cluster. So this is our cluster. We created autopilot demo in our last video and here we deployed one application with a public image. So that was the image provided by Google Cloud for the sample application. So this is a Google sample deployment. And within this we deployed a public image and exposed this as a service. So let me show you what we deployed in our last video. So this was the service we deployed and this was just simple hello world message and with some displayed on the home screen now this was with the public image we did now what we'll do in this demo we'll go ahead and create our own sample application with python flask and then we'll deploy our application in a gk cluster so let me use cloud shell here so it will take a couple of minutes to get started if you are using frequently then it will open much faster so now cloud shell is open for me so here i already created one python flask application let me go to the simple app folder and within this folder i am having a app.py file docker file and template folder so let me first show you what is app.py okay so app.py file is my main file which contains the code for the python flask application so this is a simple four lines of code for Python Flask application and whenever I go on the home URL it will just return the index.html so instead of printing the hello world I am just returning the index.html so let me show you what is index.html here so let me just show you so this index.html is nothing but it is just uh, returning the header with welcome to tech capture message okay so this is a simple python flask application i'm having now let me just try to show you how this application will look like so whenever i execute python app.py because i already have a flask installed so now you can see it is running and if i go to a url it will show you a home page of my python flask application okay so this is my simple python flask application which shows welcome to tech capture on the he header hello world and this is my flask application home page now this app we are running locally in a cloud shell so now what we'll do we'll just uh, build simple docker image for this application so let me first close this and let me show you a docker file which we created for this so this docker file is having all the dependencies and configuration so it will be used a base image for python so python 3.7 slim then we'll install a python flask because this is a dependency for flask application so it use the flask library then i'll create one app directory and in app directory i'll copy my code so i'll copy app.py file as well as the template folder and at the last i'll just run my application python app.py okay so this is the simple python flask file which will this is simple docker file not python flask so this docker file will be used to build a docker image okay so what we'll do now we'll first build a docker image okay so let me just close it so once it is built we have to push it to a artifact registry as well. so let's first create artifact registry so artifact registry is used to store our artifact just like docker container npm packages or maven packages so all kind of packages can be stored in artifact registry so earlier there was a container registry which was used to store only the docker images but this is the advanced version of the container registry and this is the artifact registry okay so let me close this so currently it is having only one artifact registry created by the application app engine 
so let's create our own repository now so here just view the name I'll just give the name GK app okay so we need for a docker images so I'll choose a docker and rest of the things I'll choose a default for region I'll choose a multi region and I'll store for US region now I'll just go and create my repository and in this repository we'll push our container image now here to push the repository or push the container image we have to follow some naming convention for the tagging okay so what the naming convention or how we should authenticate to this repository so we have setup instructions here so just click on the setup instruction and first authenticate this using this command so we'll just copy this command okay so we'll authenticate with this region repository okay I'll just execute and for me it might say it's already created a credential for this okay so you can see gcloud credentials already registered correctly but if you are executing the first thing it will create this credential for you okay now this is the first step now let's see more detailed instruction here so what should be the naming convention for the image okay so this is uh, documentation I'll go to push and pull container images and I'll just see the format of the image how should be the image name so you can see the image name for example should be like this so it should be having format location project ID repository and image I'll just copy this to notepad plus plus okay and let's check the format from here now I'll just copy this as well okay so this part is US docker PKG dev project ID is TP dev 02 GK app is our uh, repository and our image name I'll just give simple okay so I'm just giving a simple app so this is my image name now I'll go back to the cloud shell and I'll start building my image I'll just clear here okay so how to build image so I'll just build with a tag and I'll give the name and after that I just give the tag as a latest okay and location is my current directory so I put a dot now it will just build a image so you can see initially it is loading the Python 2.7 slim library then it will run PIP install flask or dependent libraries then it copied and then it created the docker image okay so where we can see the docker image because we just created it we haven't pushed it to the repository so simply check docker image ls okay so let me just increase the font just okay I think medium was better okay let it be medium now you can see one image created just 13 seconds ago and now we have to test this image locally if it is working fine if it works fine then we will push that image to the uh, registry so I will just test it how to test it so just do docker or run hyphen p for port and I will just container port and the port I, on which I want to run and then yes I did the port mapping and now I given the image name let's see now okay it is running inside my container now let's check here if it will show my application home screen which is a python flask welcome to tech tap application okay so it is running fine now it is not in my local it is running within my container you can see this is running container image now my container image is working absolutely fine what I will do now I am ready to deploy it on GKE so once it is working fine I will now push it to artifact registry so let's close it how to push so here I will just do a docker push I will remove this part so instead of docker run I will just do a docker push and image name ok and at the end I will just give the tag as a latest ok 
just enter so now it is making API call to artifact registry and that is why it is asking permission to use my credential for API call I just authorize to use my credential and now it is pushing so let's go here currently there is no image once I refresh you will see a image okay. so it is pushing image let's refresh here you will soon uh, see a image here okay so it pushed image so you can see the digest as well as the size so let me go and again refresh so you can see a simple app docker image is available now okay and the complete details about the image you will see here you can see the files okay how to download these files you can see here and other versions and details you can see about your show pull command edit text all these details you can see here from here also you can deploy to GK but I will go back to my GK cluster and from there I will deploy okay so just scroll down and I will go to my cluster now okay and I'll click on a deploy so deployment I'll just give the name as a simple app namespace default okay autopilot cluster container details now we'll choose or select our image so I'll go on select I'll just click on the select and I'll select my artifact registry here so we have this GK app repository and within this we are having a simple app now we have only one tag one version so I'll choose this one select okay we selected our container image now I'll just click on done I will directly expose here now so I'll just expose so it was running on 8080 so if I show you earlier code so it was running on 8080 and target port also I will use 8080 okay service I need external IP so I will choose a load balancer and then I will uh, deploy so it will take a couple of minutes now it is exposing deployment four steps completed okay so initially it is showing unscheduleable or a pods in pending so just wait for a few seconds and then it will show you a green status once pods will be in available state okay so let's check on the terminal so I'll just uh, do kubectl get pods okay so it is showing a pending so let's wait for some time let's try again so it will take some time so currently still pod showing pending status so let's see here okay let's wait for some more time let's check again now you can see the pods are running one is terminating but one is running so it will also get into the running state or we'll have only one replica one pod okay so let's try to refresh here and we'll see if it is in green now okay it is completely green means our application is up and running now so let's try to access this application scroll it down and I'll go to a service endpoint so this is our service endpoint so I'll just click on this endpoint and you can see our application is running on port 8080 so in this way we deployed uh, our own Python Flask application on a GK cluster and we deployed our own container image and pushed to the artifact registry so that's it for this video hope you understood how to build our own image and deploy to the GK cluster now we can automate all the flow we'll just push the code and it will build the complete container image at the back end and then deploy to GK all this stuff we can do so we'll do this in a later part of the videos for this video this was the part only where we have to deploy our own container image to the GKE autopilot so thank you for watching this video 
and we'll see you again in a next video